What is going on, y'all? This is John with Face Mask Fantasy, bringing you new fantasy content every day right here on this channel. So if you have not subscribed already, please hit that button. But without further ado, let's get into some fantasy talk. Now, the Niners' backfield is a complete mess. Raheem Mostert is out for the year. Jeff Wilson is out until week nine, most likely. Mitchell is dealing with a shoulder issue. Jermichael Hasty is week to week with a high ankle sprain. Trey Sermon was a surprise demotion prior to week one, was activated after the Mostert injury, and promptly picked up a double concussion and is back in the doghouse. And the Niners were forced to claim Trenton Cannon off waivers, along with signing somebody named Jacques Patrick from the Bengals practice squad to fill out their RB depth chart in light of the injuries that they've sustained at the position. Now, who the hell is Jacques Patrick? I, I don't even know if that's how you pronounce his name. That's just what we're going with. The Bengals signed Jacques Patrick to a three-year contract on April 26th of 2020. He's six foot three, 236 pounds, and Patrick went undrafted out of Florida State last year. He outright failed to latch on to a team out of college before a stint in the XFL, and Patrick's stats weren't overly impressive in the XFL. He put up 254 yards on 60 rushes, averaged 4.2 yards per carry, had two touchdowns on the ground, and chipped in with just five catches on eight targets for 49 yards. But his size jumps off the page. I mean, 6'3", 236 pounds. Holding him back, though, is his athleticism. He ran a 4'6'9 at his pro day, which typically gets rounded up to 4'7'4 due to pro day bias with some of these metrics and measurements. He literally has no outstanding athletic traits outside of his size. The Bengals ended up waving him and he was put on their practice squad in September of 2020. He played for the Bengals in the 2021 preseason, rushing for 156 yards and a touchdown on 31 attempts, five yards per carry average. And the 49ers ended up signing Jacques Patrick off the Bengals practice squad last week. And I believe Patrick should be added in deeper formats. He's a strong bet to grab the goal line role that Jamichael Hayes he was doing well with before picking up his own injury. And while I typically like my backs with athleticism, if the Niners just need a guy to trust on the goal line to bowl over the guy in front of him, Jacques Patrick can be that battering ram. Touchdown or bust is probably the only value he will have in this offense, but this offense can get into the red zone at will and currently sports a 100% success rate in red zone scoring. So this coaching staff has a role in mind for Patrick, and it's a role that he could be playing a fair amount of in the coming weeks one that leads to touchdowns more often than not. He's definitely a wait and see for me in like 10 team leagues and redraft. I mean, I just, I think he's a wait and see until you actually see what his role is. But in deeper formats and dynasty, in some keeper situations, he might be worth a pickup just in case he captures that role. He is still only 24. This team has been known to almost go out of their way to use unheralded running backs heavily. I mean, we've, we've seemingly seen it every year over the past three years with this team. So he's somebody who could absolutely come to prominence, but I would not be spending a ton of fab on him because one thing to note with this 49ers backfield is the fact that Jeff Wilson does come back probably around week nine. And I think if I'm going for a stash in the Niners backfield, I'm more apt to go with Jeff Wilson, who was the leading fantasy producer from the running back position for the Niners last season. He's coming back week nine and he should be given a significant workload straight off the bat because they are, they need the help at the running back position. Even if Eli Mitchell and Jermichael Hasty get healthy, they're still going to need to use Jeff Wilson. So Jeff Wilson might be the better stash here, but he's worth a shot because this offense and this coaching staff can produce running backs out of literally nothing. So what do you guys think about Jacques Patrick? Put your thoughts in the comment section below. My name is John and this is Face Mask Fantasy, bringing you new fantasy content every day right here on this channel. So if you have not subscribed already, please hit that button. Thank you for listening and have a great day.